Shout out King Leonidas. Shout out Bay Area Throwbacks. What's up, hermanos? Thank you guys for starting this and having this community open to, to make videos like this. First up, this is in no particular order at all. First up is my authentic Rawlings Sammy Sosa 1991 jersey. This will be the 9091 season. Beautiful script, tackle twill, single stitched, authentic Rawlings vintage from the 90s, you guys. The minute of Sosa, uh, 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 Sosa, Chief Keef, you know, adopted Sosa off of this player. Uh, all Sammy needed was to move up north in the city of Chicago, and he could jumpstart his career. He was there for three years, I think, 1981, 1989 to 91. So this is my authentic Sammy Sosa. It has the white sock. Not It has the white sock on the diamond patch there. Beautiful piece. Next up is going to be another vintage Rawlings piece. This is the Barry Bonds, 19, what year is this? 1992 Pittsburgh Pirates jersey. It is a size 44 Russell Authentic Diamond Collection. Beautiful black and yellow script. 24 is what he wore with the Pirates. He had a decent little run there. Was not a bad player by any means there. And then once he went to the Giants, San Francisco Giants, that is, he switched to 25. A lot of people forget this era of Barry Bonds' career. There is the Pirates diamond patch there. Okay, that's my second jersey. Barry Bonds, the best hitter of all time to ever play the game of baseball. Hands down. Barry Bonds should have been a Hall of Famer. They dropped the ball on that MLB. Next up. Keeping it Midwest here is my vintage Rawlings Authentic Ozzy Smith 1989. Sorry, wait. Yeah, 1989 batting practice jersey. You have this beautifully double stitched O. Dot Smith and the number one on the back. You have the late 80s STL crest St. Louis Cardinals. It has those jagged and pointy edges there on the tips of the lettering they switched in the mid 90s to the more rounded stl logo like the mitchell and s version is the 96 of this you do have a size 46 rawlings there beautiful batting practice jersey the wizard of oz that man would do backflips front flips on the field back in the day he was amazing next up keeping it midwest actually no i'm slipping Next up, we're going to keep it St. Louis, my birthplace, St. Louis. Um, we're going to say number four, Yadi Molina, the best defensive catcher to ever play baseball, if not the best catcher to ever play the game of baseball, Mr. Yadi Molina. Okay, this is a Nike. This is an authentic Nike these are very pricey. I think they've gone up $30 to like $470 the last time I checked. So this does have the chain stitched front as it should be chain stitched. Just a beautifully done chain stitch there by Nike. Not going to lie. Nike killed this. You do have a single stitched number four from Molina. And you have a single stitched name and number on the back. These were very long, as you know, if you own a Nike Authentic. There's your engineered to the exact specs. Sure, Nike, all right. Authentic collection jock tag there. Okay, I cannot find these. This is dead stock from when I bought it, but I cannot find these in other sizes, in any size actually right now. Fanatics, Fans Edge, I got this on Fanatics or Fans Edge, I forget. I cannot find these anywhere. eBay, nobody's selling theirs. So um, anyways, I'm super stoked to have this in my collection. That would be number four, you guys. And lastly, my grandpa's favorite team, his home city of Chicago, and his favorite team to ever play. He passed a year before they won the, tw the World Series in 2016. He passed in 2015. But he was actually, my grandfather was actually at the last World Series appearance. I think it was the last World Series appearance, or was it the National League Championship appearance in Chicago? 1933 or something like that, 1932. Anyways, Ryan Sandberg, P. 
pinstriped home jersey. 1987 authentic Rawlings jersey with the mad mean mug bear cub huge huge stitched patch there on the left shoulder huge chicago c cubs there on the chest single stitched 23 on the back this is a rawlings authentic you know what i'm noticing now is that three of these are all rawlings authentics so anyways you have rawlings there on that sleeve there just an eminent of the 90s you know cubs still wear a pinstripe but that was what was popular back in the 90s this is a 87 though and this is ryan sandberg one of the greatest players to play for the cubs so that would be my top five you guys hope y'all enjoyed that thank you guys for including me in this and shout out to everybody all right honorable community. mentions that i wanted to show you guys is my 93 russell diamond collection authentic barry bonds jersey this would be the jersey he wore when he first landed in san francisco in 93 i think it was it might have been 92 so correct me if i'm wrong i think it was 93 this thing is beautiful. It has the nameplate as it should. Huge lettering. 25 there. He switched from 24 to 25. Russell Authentic. That would be my honorable mention as well as the 2001-2002 Road. Actually, this is a home black jersey that is triple stitched. Um, just, <laughs> just so clean with the huge Giants patch on the side. Dead stock majestic 2001 2002 um black home jersey they only wore the home i think for a year or two and then thirdly my next honorable mention is my chicago cubs i forget what year this greg maddox is but it has both patches on the sleeves there triple stitch tackle twill double layered tackle twill there and the chicago straight font chicago from left to right beautiful russell diamond collection those are my runner-ups those were my uh, honorable mentions i could not leave them out there's so many more there i probably want to show you guys thank you for tuning in peace out